This is a setting the bar story. Kelly, describe what this is. It's a little life lesson, a little what not to do. Let's hope it doesn't happen to you. But in this case, it's just don't do that. Why are we having to say this out loud? Yeah, it's kind of an example of you don't have to try every trend you see on TikTok, right? Uh-huh. Remember the Tide Pods? Remember people were eating those? Yes. And we had to kind of come on here and be like, hey, don't eat detergent, guys. Yeah. Uh, so if you can manage to make it through the day without eating fried toothpicks because TikTok told you to do it, then you're doing okay. Toothpicks? Now, to be fair, this doesn't seem to be a trend that is catching on in America. This is South Korean TikTokers, right? Okay. Apparently, they've been deep frying toothpicks and eating them, apparently even so much as seasoning them to eat them for that nice little crunchy little flavor. Are they made of wood? Not in, okay, so I had to actually look this up because that's what I thought too. I was like, okay, wait, hang on. They're wood, right? They're stabby little pieces of wood. Right. Why are we finding them? Some of them them are made of wood. Some toothpicks are made of plastic. Some are made of bamboo. And these are made of starch. Starch. So these starch toothpicks are a sanitary product. It, right. And so people think, oh, okay, well, it's starch. Tasty. It's not wood. Obviously, now I can eat it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm going to put this in my mouth and eat it. So the South Korean health ministry literally had to tweet, this is not a product to eat. The starch toothpicks are sanitary products. Their safety has not been verified. Okay. Stop also, deep frying them and eating them. Still pretty stabby, right? Even if you're deep frying them, there's probably still stabby. Well, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, do you, okay. Do you, what restaurant sure. was it that had those French fries that were almost like, very, very thin, toothpicky type French fries. I mean, there's a lot of them that have like the shoestring fries. Shoestring, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Ends. Yeah, kind of the shoestring French fries. Maybe, yeah. maybe people were kind of considering them to be offshoot like to that shoe, or, or like, like super, super, I'm going to make super, fries. yes, okay. I'm going to make super thin shoestring French fries, dip them in my frosty and they're going to be delish. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, but, but like they're so small. Like, how many of them do you have to eat to feel like you're filled up? Well, I don't think you're eating them to as a meal, Kelly. This is probably oh, just an appetizer. And snack yeah, in yeah. the afternoon. Yeah, okay. yeah, maybe. But that's a lot of effort to and, go and, through to deep fry them. And well, then, and who knows? Maybe a, a, a chef or some sort of food influencer started it on TikTok where they were like, you know what? You can deep fry the toothpicks that you stick in your little Vienna sausage and you can eat why? the entire thing. Wow. Why, though? Everything's Why? edible. Oh, okay. I just, again, <laughs> never in my wild, I didn't have, I didn't have I didn't, them, a bingo card for no. this year. We had yeah, to tell, people, to tell out people out loud stop eating toothpicks. not to deep fry toothpicks and eat them. Yeah, stop eating toothpicks, guys. Okay. All right. Yeah, so again, we don't have to try everything we see on TikTok. And should not. But so if you can manage to make it through the day without eating fried toothpicks <laughs> because an app on your phone told you you should, you're doing okay. Uh, Heather's a steak and shake shoestring fries. Were they kind of pointy? Maybe some of them could have been pointy on the end. Yeah, maybe you could clean your teeth with some steak and shake no, shoestring I fries. <laughs> I don't think we equate steak and shake fries with toothpicks. So can we but... agree eating fried toothpicks are weird? Yes, okay. we're agreeing with that. So what else do you love to eat but is considered weird? The, it may be and not even food because we're not even putting toothpicks in the lane of food. <laughs> like I, I, I remember I used it's to. It's almost a utensil. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. But I used to love to eat paper. Like just notebook paper. paper. Yeah, I would, I would, I would tear it off and I would just chew it up. And it was like a little thing that I would do while I was, I I don't know, bored or whatever. But, 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 but what put that in your head that that looks tasty and I need to try it? I don't know. What, what, what? why? Kelly, you know me. I'm not necessarily all there up top. So that's true. (laughs) I've looked at paper a lot throughout my, my years and never once said, hmm. That really looks like Again, a snack. Again, right doesn't now. necessarily taste good, but it's something that you can just chew on and kind of pass the time. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, what else are the weird food items or items that you like to eat? 502 795 1997. We'll take your stories on the way.
I mean, Heather also points out they eat fried cockroaches over there, so maybe an upgrade. That's one way to control the population. There you go. You know. <laughs> Your story's on the way on 9970JX.